You can perform gestational age calculations in any of the presets, but being in the reproductive preset does make them a bit easier to find. So right now I'm in the abdominal preset, so if I press calc, I automatically get just general abdominal options. I can go back by going over abdomen, pressing set, that will bring me back up a layer, and from there I can always go in to reproduction and pick my species. So it doesn't matter if you've forgotten and you're in abdomen. Um, it's not like a scan pad, for example, where you kind of have to reset the whole thing and go into a new mode. However, if you do remember, um, if you know that you're going to perform calculations and you do remember to be in that mode to start with, you press exam and one of these reproductive, so pet reproduction, and then now when I click calc, I'm already there and I don't have to do all that navigating around. So that's the only difference in terms of which preset you select. There are a few really great features on this machine. One of them is the full screen mode. You've got it, so you might as well use it. It's really nice, really impressive in front of clients as well. Of course, you have color Doppler, which is the C button here. If you don't know how to use that, I will be putting some tutorials up to explain more about that. Save one by default will save an image. Save two by default will save a video. And you can go back and look at them. They will be thumbnails down here, but if you want to look at them later, if you go to Smarchive, unusual name, but it's basically SM Archive, just above the gain, click that button there. That will bring you into all your previous scans. And you just double click with set. It'll bring you in there and I haven't saved any images but if I had um, the easiest way I find is just to click all which will select all and then go to send once your USB stick is inserted and that was to send them all directly to your USB. Under setup here's where you would type your business name. Under examination setup you can add your own presets so if you've got some really nice settings that you liked you could go to edit here and you could put a name for it in here for yourself. You can even adjust your video export settings. So if you've used a scan pad before, one thing I always found with that machine, actually with a lot of machines, is they seem to export very dark compared to what you see on screen. I haven't found that too much of a problem with this machine, but if you did, you can tweak the, the video settings here. If you click the disk button, which is just above M mode, that's where you can set to be able to take a constant recording if you want. So as I said, by default, save one will be an image. Save two will be a, a cine loop. DVR is a continuous recording. So you can set that at any key that you like. So at the moment it's not set, but you could set that to be F1. And then when you press the F1 key on the keyboard, it's going to start taking a continuous recording. So F1 is up here, top left. If I set that to be F1, then when I'm scanning, I can press it and a little red light's going to go in the corner and it's going to carry on recording until the moment I press that F1 again or I freeze my image. So I no longer am bound by the constraints of a cine loop.